it has been forever forever since I've done one of these videos and I have almost 250,000 followers which is ridiculous so there are a ton of you who maybe have not gotten the lecture on how these things work so buckle in first thing you gotta know is it's very appropriately named bag pipes uh, the bag is the reservoir that holds all of the air so I blow into it using the mouthpiece and all of the air is stored in the bag I tuck it under my arm and my arm is actually what pushes the air through the instrument so I can breathe whenever I need to in fact I'm breathing most of the time and my arm is doing the majority of the work now that's important because there are four reeds in this instrument, three in these guys on my shoulder, the drones, and then one in the chanter. So let's take a peek at the drones. These are the things that make the, the noise when I do my goose honk, um, which we all love. And this is what the reeds look like. They are synthetic. There are non-synthetic cane reeds as well, but these are more stable in my opinion. And this is what it sounds like on its own if I mouth blow but the bag does that work for me so I can keep multiples of them going and they just play the same tone the entire time it's a pedal tone it doesn't change I can tune it but I can't change the note it sustains and then this here the chanter has a double reed that looks similar to a bassoon or oboe reed and it's a little bit bigger than those would be so it's a tad bit louder as I'm sure you're already aware and that's what makes the notes on the chanter or the sounds on the chanter now because the air is constantly flowing through the instrument I can't articulate like I would be able to on another woodwind so all of the articulation actually comes through handwork like grace notes and other embellishments and that's actually what makes bagpipes much more difficult to learn than other instruments so let me give you a demo If you have any more questions, you know what to do.